Good morning. It's still morning. 11.58 a.m. East Coast time, Thursday, September 26, 2024. I want to talk about this ALB, Alba Marley, setup. So, you know, context is key. So we know the context of the lithium sector, May through September, it's been, you know, they've taken a flamethrower to the whole space. It's been brutalized. Everybody can look at the lithium carbonate price chart down 80% or even 85%. I'm not even sure what the number is. It's down a lot from the high. A lot of the stocks are also down 80%. Some are down 90%. Albemarle is obviously a big producer. They're actually a real mining company. Uh, they have a pretty strong balance sheet. So it's a very liquid name. It's, it's the go-to you know, hedge fund name. Um, we know what happened in China a couple nights ago. We know what the Fed did last week, right? So we have this contrast of bombed out sentiment. Everybody's negative on lithium, on battery metals. Everybody's talking about how they're not selling as many EVs. Um, we know the lithium price is down huge. We know it's bouncing along the bottom. Yet, <clears throat> we're seeing a the early makings of a turn in the ALB chart. The big guys are going to be the ones to turn first. Uh, they're going to be a leading indicator for the overall sector. And so ALB is starting to turn. What China did, and this tweet I made yesterday about City Research calling for a little rally here in the lithium price by year end, uh, just due to the fact that supply is being curtailed. A lot of projects being shut down, going offline. The price is too low, right? You also have a pretty high short interest here in Albemarle. I think it was like 11 or 12% at last check. That's a pretty high short interest. Um, and just from a technical perspective, it held this support around 85 on multiple tests. So. It created a higher low earlier this month. It made a new support at 85. And this very volatile last three trading days where it gaps up, cannot hold the rally, then has a big down day on Wednesday and now gaps up again. This level of indecision, very high level of indecision, but it's going to lead to a resolution. Normally, when you have this, this spike in volatility, this really high level of indecision in a market, you're, you're on the verge of a resolution in price. So the question is, is the resolution going to be lower or higher? Well, I'm betting because we put in a higher low. It's down so much. Sentiment is so negative. Everybody who is going to sell has sold. We have a higher probability Never a certainty, never a guarantee. This is trading, but maybe 65-35, maybe 70-30. Um, it's going to resolve higher. So I'm giving it a shot here to run, right? And this thing could run to 100, very easily run to 100. Uh, that, that wouldn't be a big stretch at all. And bigger picture, it certainly has upside to over 100. It has upside to maybe these April lows around 110. That also coincides with the 200-day moving average. And just simply put, I can clearly define my risk here just at these lows here, right? If it breaks below 86, the 85, 86 area, I'm out. And obviously, there's a big gap there. There is gap risk. I mean, th this is a volatile stock. <laughs> just look at some of these gaps it's done overnight. But you got to risk it to get the biscuit, and that's what... I'm doing here today, ALB long Alba Marley from the open on Thursday, September 26th, 2024. Have a great trading day and a powerful rest of your trading week and enjoy your weekend. Again, if you like this video, if you get value from my content, please hit the like and subscribe button subscribe to my sub stack where you get more long form content and of course the youtube channel at goldfinger capital thank you